Hey guys, as we know, the pandemic hasn't stopped Apple from releasing new products and the rumors about the iPhone 12 keep coming. So in today's video, I'll be sharing everything that we know so far about the new iPhone expected in September. New design, processor, 5G support, and a lot more. Starting off with the lineup. Four new iPhones are expected, two lower-end models with 5.4 and 6.1-inch display sizes, aluminum body, and two cameras, and two higher-end models with 6.1 and 6.7-inch display sizes, stainless steel body, three cameras, and LiDAR scanner. Now, an upgrade that it's going to make a lot of people happy is that it's extremely likely that all of them would come with OLED display. So we're probably not going to have the display difference that we have today with the iPhones 11. In relation to names, it's obvious that we'll only know for sure on its release date, but I believe that what makes the most sense right now is to maintain the same idea seen in the iPhone 11 lineup. So iPhone 12, 12 Pro, and 12 Pro Max. The colors available for the iPhone 12 Pro are likely to be space gray, silver, gold, and midnight blue in order to substitute the midnight green, and the colors available for the iPhone 12 are likely to be light blue, violet, light orange, and more. Regarding the design, Ming-Chi Kuo believes that the new iPhone will have an industrial design that resembles the iPhone 4 with squared stainless steel edges between two pieces of glass. Also, according to Mako Takara, the iPhone 12 will have a thickness of 7.4 millimeters, which would be thinner than the 8.1 millimeters thick iPhone 11 Pro. And he also believes that the iPhone 12 will be a little bit taller than the iPhone 11. John Prosser also posted on his Twitter that it is possible for the new iPhone to have a smaller notch. Schematics show that the true death camera system and the ambient light and proximity sensors move to a more central position, and the speaker would be right above it, which would save space. The microphone is not shown in the layouts, but according to Prosser, it should be positioned right next to the speaker. Another rumor that it's being commented a lot is the addition of a smart connector or magnetic connector on the side. It's possible to see in CAD files that the SIM card slot moved to the other side and a capsule-shaped connector replaced it. In my opinion, it really looks like the magnetic connector seen in the iPad Pros. And as you know, rumors are only rumors and none of it was confirmed, but it's possible that this connector would be used to charge the iPhone and it would possibly replace the lightning port. I honestly love this theory and I would love to see this in an iPhone, but it's extremely unlikely for us to see a portless iPhone in 2020. Maybe this would happen in 2021? In relation to the cameras, both lower end models should come with two rear cameras, just like the iPhone 11. And according to Max Weinbach and John Prosser, the iPhone 12 Pro should come with a camera module that is similar to the one seen in the new iPad Pros, which means that it would probably have a LiDAR scanner and three cameras, a wide, an ultra wide, and a telephoto. One difference being the size of the LiDAR scanner that it's supposed to be bigger than the one seen in the new iPad Pro. Which makes sense because the cameras seen in the iPad Pro are smaller and Apple really wants the iPhone to be incredible in regards to camera and AR technology. Other than that, the flash may be right in the middle of the camera module and the mic may be positioned in between the LiDAR scanner and one of the cameras or in between two cameras towards the bottom. It's not certain yet if the LiDAR scanner would be towards the top or the bottom of the camera module. According to Max Weinbach, Apple is probably testing both options, and we also don't know if the glass area of the camera module would be black in order to blend better with the LiDAR scanner or transparent. In the new iPad Pro, the camera module is black independently of the iPad's color. However, in my opinion, it would look a lot better if it was transparent, just like it's seen in the iPhone's 11, but I guess we'll see. It's also expected that the new iPhone would have the newest processor by Apple, the A14, which is supposed to be the most efficient and fast. And all iPhone 12 models should come with 5G connectivity support. Regarding its release date, it is still unclear if all models are going to be released at the same time and in September. Bloomberg believes that at least some of the newer iPhones can be released at least a few weeks later than expected. And according to the analyst Jeff Boo, the release date can happen in two parts which means that the 6.7-inch iPhone could be pushed back and released in October, while the other models continue to be released in September as usual. 
But these are all the rumors about the iPhone 12 so far. Stay tuned for more Apple leaks, reviews, tutorials, and more here in the channel. And follow me on Instagram to see a little bit more of my life, behind the scenes, products. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.